Hi guys, I'm going to do a quick unboxing from my Your Creative Studios monthly um, subscription box. I think this is my last month. Uh, I usually get the vintage box. Uh, they're generally for, I would say, bullet journalers, but uh, I use a lot of their stuff in my junk journals and other crafts. Uh, they make some really pretty stuff and they make some stuff that you can use over and over again like um, rubber stamps. So let's see what we got this month. So we got this little card, it's a thank you card, and it talks about music. So I'm assuming this kit's based on music, which I love music. Um, so here we go. I did crack open this paper because I was trying not to tear it, but obviously I did because I love their tissue paper. I always say their tissue paper to use in projects as well because it's very, I don't know, like historically themed or vintage themed. I like it a lot. Anyways, so that is that. I need this to lay flat. Okay, the first thing we got are number stickers and notes and clefts, and they appear to have clear background based on the type of sticker they are so they're kind of cute I can always use numbers and letters <clears throat> these are sticky notes and they appear to be in the shape of an old-fashioned light bulb Let's see oh yeah they're adorable I have a Tim Holtz die cut that's sort of similar to that it's it's in a similar shape it's much larger than this um, I tend to use a lot in steampunk themes, so this obviously would go good in a vintage or a steampunk or anything like that kind of journal. We got another one of these. You see, I don't have my glasses on, so. Got another uh, washi. This one seems to have. Uh, come on. Doesn't seem to want to focus on that. Uh, it looks like it's musical notes and a staff unless I'm just blind, which is a good possibility. It could be something completely different that I just can't see. It might just be a pattern. It's very pretty though, black and white. And let's see what's in here. This little box is adorable. Oh, look, it's tiny. It's like a tiny booklet. It's got craft paper inside. It's not even a box but that is so cute yeah that's adorable that would have came in handy when I was doing my miniature journal um, for a thespis challenge over at Beninquities okay here we have a rubber stamp it's like a jazz two guys playing jazz some notes some music for Ode to Joy and keyboard and I'm not sure what that is it just seems to be an abstract stamp Ooh, what's this this says medieval collection of books Tied with a little bit of twine, really nice thin twine. And oh, so it's paper that seems to have vintage music paper printed on it. Some of it actually has notations on it, so I'm assuming it's come from some original papers. Very cool. Very, very cool. We have a bunch of those. So that's part of the kit. And this appears to be washi as well. Ugh, my fingernails are shot. 
had my fingernails looking really, really nice. I was using some, it's like polish, but not polish, called Color Street, that one of my friends sells online. And my nails were looking really, really good. And then I broke one. And then, you know, that's usually the beginning of the end for me. For some reason, when one breaks, they get to a certain length, and when one breaks, they literally all break off, but they all break off in the red part. People tell me that means I'm lacking something. I can't imagine what I'm lacking, but okay. So this is washi, and it um, it's num it has numbers around it. It looks a little bit like a vintage measuring tape, but it's not specific to a measuring tape. It just has numbers on it. This is like journaling type cards, maybe. Oh, so it's paper, but it's <clears throat> multiple kinds of music. There's several pieces of each type. It's like a little paper pad. Like, you know, when you um, purchase those little paper pads in Michaels or whatever to like mount pictures on or use, except for it's pre-printed. All this would be really cool for a smaller type of journal. Okay. Let's see what this is. Oh, these look like rub ons because they have plastic in between them. That's really cool. They're like all vintage. Oh, I love these. These are really neat. They would add a specific touch if you're going for a vintage journal. Again, this stuff would be really cool in a bullet journal. So let's see, this is papers. Oh, and I, I found out last time by watching other people that this these are sticker papers. I hadn't used mine from the last kit yet, but they're sticker papers, they're adhesive on the back. So that makes them a little bit cooler. Okay, so those are the adhesive papers that came in this kit. And these, I don't know what these are. See if we can get them open and take a peek. You ever notice when you try to open something on camera, you're like literally 12 thumbs. <laughs> oh, they're cool. I think they're stickers too. Yes, they are. They're adhesive back. So that's cool. So they're, um, I mean, they're all alike, but they're, there's, there's several on each sheet. They're like little tags. That's kind of cool, but they're adhesive. And then, oh, good thing I looked under here. I don't always look under here, but apparently there's stuff sometimes hidden under there, like a special surprise. This appears to be a charm, but it looks like it's like a working pocket knife, maybe. Am I wrong? Oh no, I'm totally right. Gosh, that's kind of, it's kind of cool, but creepy in a and see it actually folds maybe like a razor but it does have a little um hole to hang it as a charm that's very interesting now i had um opened several boxes where i didn't look under the paper and i actually threw the boxes out so i'm sure i previously thrown out things i didn't know were in there uh, but i was watching other people open theirs and i was like oh boy i may have thrown some good stuff out over the times that I actually got one of these boxes, but so that's all the cool stuff I got. And um, yeah, these are these are really cool kits. I mean, she obviously puts a lot of time and attention into making everything coordinate and have a theme, and yeah. So I do enjoy the Creative Studio boxes. So that is my 
unboxing for today. I don't know what y'all are working on. I am working on some things. I'm doing a I'm doing a swap and the theme of my swap is just uh, between me and another girl is uh, Steampunk Mermaid. So hopefully I'll be able to film that before it has to go out. I'm a little pressed for time. I still have to work on my design team project for this month and I've kind of got hung up because <laughs> I'm just like obsessed with the adult coloring and I've been doing a lot of it and yeah so <laughs> it's, a sh it's a shame when you have too many crafts and not enough time that's kind of been the story of my life anyway I hope y'all are doing good I hope y'all are still healthy um, I, I hope you guys would start posting some stuff so I can take a look at what you guys are up to I love watching other people's YouTubes and um, yeah, I hope you have a good weekend. Have a great day. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.